Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is Sean Smith Photos. We're at street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So, uh, big news On One is releasing the 2023.5 version in a couple of days. I've got my hands on the beta release the, or the pre release, and this video will be queued up to drop at right when On One releases it to the public. So in, in this video, we're gonna do a first look at what is in On One Photo Raw, and then we're gonna dive into one or two of the feature, of the new update features, and let you know what you think about that. Let's get to it. All right, so uh, before I go further, uh, just a shout out that if you're ready to purchase On One or any of the On One software, use my promo code, which, uh, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, SSP20% at SSP20PERCENT. Uh, you'll see it on the screen and uh, yeah so let's take a look at what is in on one photo raw 2023.5 first we have new face recovery technology in resize ai for upscaling faces with remarkable detail perfect for upscaling old photos or cropping a portrait or headshot out and upscaling it to super resolution. Uh, so I, I'm planning on testing this out in another video. I've got some scans of old snapshots and Polaroids that my parents took when I was young uh, from the 70s and even some uh, from the 50s or 60s when I did not exist. So I'm, I'm planning on taking those and uh, grow, uh, increasing the size of the photo and the resolution and see how face recovery works with that. We also have upgraded raw processing for, no, for more natural shadows, fewer edge artifacts, and more responsive sliders. So uh, I haven't noticed an, any issue or unresponsiveness with the various sliders, but hopefully it's even better. Next, we've got a greatly improved refined mask brush for masking challenging areas like hair and trees. I am really looking forward to testing this out. There's been many times that I've had uh, trees in the background and I wanted to do something with the sky or do something with the tree, but I couldn't really separate the tree from the background without spending a lot of time with uh, perfect brush and even then it was never quite right. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a new encircle option in the refine mask tool to draw around the borders of an object when masking. I think this is going to be really uh, an interesting idea. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out. It might be uh, something to use when you want to select something that doesn't fit into the pre-existing AI mask options such as uh, people, transport, flora, natural ground. It, it could be something that is maybe a combination or a partial combination of those that you just want to be able to draw around it. I, I'm looking forward to trying that out. Uh, we've also got AI or enhanced mask AI for improving masking in photos of people and animals. This is great for me. Uh, as everybody knows, I do street photography, so I'm really looking forward to being better able to enhance uh, mask people. Uh, there's a new dropper tool for curves control in effects, and this is something I am going to do in a separate video. I'm really looking forward to the options here. Uh, we've got zooming and panning for the preview, as well as adjusting tool properties such as brush size can now be accomplished simultaneously with the scroll wheel. So you won't have to use your, your uh, just your keyboard, you can use your scroll wheel. And we'll do that in another video as well. 
Uh, and of course, any new cameras or lenses that have come out since the last release have now been added in there. So you, you're going to be able to get your uh, lens corrections and uh, camera profiles and things like that. Okay, so what are we going to look at in this video? We're going to look at greatly the greatly improved refined mask brush for masking challenging areas like hair and trees, and the new encircle option in the refined mask tool. So before I open up on one, I just want to say I have installed it, but I have not opened the new version. I have not tested it or anything, so it's going to be me going through just like you will be on the first time and trying out things blind. Brand All right, here's on one loading up. Database upgrade. All right, so what we have open here is a couple of shots that I took yesterday and so what we're actually before we dive in let's just take a look very quickly there's one bug that I'm hoping has been fixed I'm going to switch to edit I'm going to switch to edit all right there we go and I'm going to go to the locals tab and really it could be uh, any effect uh, it's just something to do with masking that I want to check out and I'm going to hit the locals tab and I'm just going to very quickly I'm going to mask out the flora okay let it build the mask and now if I hit control M I can see the mask or if I go up here Yes, look at that. View mode is showing up. Before, I would it would end up show mask, and I would have to go back to mask and open a second amount of time to see the view mode. So that is great. I'm really happy about that improvement. Okay, so we've got this local adjustment added here, and you can see I masked out the tree, but just like earlier we have this option where it hasn't properly masked let the mask through in between the branches so i'm going to change the mask view to grayscale and we can see this here and then i'm going to open up the refine tool and up here we have these various options now so original hair and branches hard edges diffuse edges noisy images or user defined i i don't know what is in user defined uh we'll maybe take a look at that another day and since i'm doing hair branches i'm going to do that and then i'm just going to brush over the whole section here and let it do its thing and look at that it's much much better so and we take a look at the scene it is it's not as it's not as obviously strange or weird so we can now do things with this hair or branches with trees and things like that so i'm going to now i'm going to take a quick look at another photo and I'm going to try out that option to draw and select or draw and mask so, all right so very quickly I'm going to go in here I'm just going to do a couple of really quick adjustments to make this photo pop a little bit Come on, edit and and color we wait a second and there comes our camera profiles uh, landscape portrait uh, yeah I I like the onboard camera one I'll hit AI match all right so this this is 
looking much better now and I think my horizon is crooked so I'm gonna just hit C on the crop on the crop tool and you know what it looks like I had cropped this in yesterday a little bit so maybe it's it is fine okay so let's go into local and open up our mask and I'm going to see what transport and people does and I'm just going to apply it here we're going to see what this does it's not a particularly great mask it's not getting the whole kayak and it's also adding in this other boat in the background so I'm going to reset the mask and all right so uh, to do this there's no uh, specific mode that you touch or, or grab so you're just going to the refine brush and I'm going to zoom in 100% on this kayak and the key here is to draw a circle around the object that you want to mask. So I'm just going to do like this and leave a little bit of a gap in the middle. And there we go. And we'll let it do its thing. And if we hit Control M and we select mask, view mode, and grayscale. It's done a much better, it's created a much better mask than using mask AI, where we would say transport and people. So now, you know, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna easily, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm just gonna go to the brush tool here, B, and reduce my brush size, and I wanna paint in. So just kind of improve the mask here. And let's go to M and we're gonna invert this mask so that everything else is darker and zero. Okay, so uh, that was really, really quick look at that. And one thing also that I noticed when I was doing a mask is I'm gonna go into effects and this time I'm going to add, what would I wanna do here? I wanna add a color enhancer and we'll do something for the sky. And let's say I want to mask the sky so it's not affecting the water for, for whatever reason, hypothetically. I'm gonna come in here mask AI, and now we've got additional options here. So I want to mask in the sky. And I'm going to apply that. And boom, it's masked in the sky. So there's additional options here. Uh, we've also got foreground and background. All right, so that is a first look at On One Photo Raw 2023.5. I will have other videos coming out looking at each of the new features or enhancements over the coming days. Thank you.